Before Fidel Castro assumed power in Cuba, 85 percent of the country's population was Catholic, according to the CIA. But Castro expelled priests, closed Catholic schools, and viewed the church as an enemy. Many Cuban Americans who were Catholic fled the country for the United States. Joining us now is Dr. Gracie Christie, policy advisor for the Catholic Association. Dr. Christie is a regular guest on our show and the daughter of Cuban exiles. Dr. Christie, the Castro regime has persecuted Catholics on the island for decades. As a Cuban-American Catholic, what do you think of President Trump's shift in policy today? We were very excited to find a real expression from an American president of the terrible right, human rights abuses that are going on to this day, in fact, worse since Obama's opening to Cuba, especially that of religious liberty. As a Catholic, uh, I know, as I know, I have a lot of friends that have arrived from Cuba recently. The oppression is worse than ever on any religious, uh, any religion, any person who tries to practice a religion in Cuba, but especially Christians and Catholics. You live in Miami, home to the largest Cuban American community in the country. How is the community reacting? I was just down at this uh, theater where uh, Mr. Trump made his announcement. There was, uh, there were a lot of uh, homegrown supporters made with their homemade signs, uh, and very a lot of excitement about hearing the abuses on the island being pointed out forthrightly by Mr. Trump. President Trump says he wants to hold the Castro regime accountable, but Pope Francis has encouraged the U.S. to open up dialogue. Can they do both? Why not? I think we can totally do both. We can dialogue and ask that the people of Cuba be given a little bit of the human rights that they deserve just for being human. One of the new restrictions includes tighter rules for non-Cuban Americans traveling to the island, and critics argue this will negatively impact regular Cubans who work in the travel industry. Doesn't it help if Cubans, if, uh, for Cubans if Americans travel to the island and spend money? You know, most of the money that Cubans, uh, I mean, tourists spend in Cuba are spent at the official hotels of Cuba, which are run by the government, and all that money is pocketed by the regime. Very little is given to the employees. Every Cuban in Cuba can only make up to $23 a month by law, and that's not enough to keep body and soul together. Dr. Gracie Christie, policy advisor for the Catholic Association, thanks so much for talking with us. Thank you.